Hey queens, it's your girl Aisha here, ready to give my two and three month block update. It's been a while, um, a lot of things have just happened in my life. Now I'm just going, I'm here to combine month two and three. So um, yeah, if you want to know, why do I have lipstick right here? You can stop. If you want to know updates on my lock journey, just stay tuned. So this time I made a list so I can stay focused and you guys can know <laughs> about this update without trying to like scurry through all the details. So I made a list. I'm going to stay focused. First, of course, changes in my hair. Okay, so last week was my three month uh, lock anniversary. Three months since I have installed two strand twists. That was the method of me achieving locks is was through two strand twists I installed them myself and I do not know how many locks that I have I haven't sat down and actually counted them but they are on the smaller to medium side getting straight into the update about what has changed about my hair the first thing is length I think that um, my hair has gotten a little longer since I started them um I don't know it's it's, it's very uh that's a quizzical thing because my fiance tells me that he can notice that my hair is getting longer um but to me it, it looks slightly different the only the only way that I can tell that my hair has gotten longer is that I'm able to put before when I put my hair like half up half down it wasn't as much hair in the ponytail so now I can like actually the ones in the back can reach into a ponytail without me like having to pin some up or whatever it would still be a very baby ponytail but that's how I can notice the length um I can also notice by this my side locks my locks on the side have gotten longer like this one and then this one I can tell like has gotten first started my locks and after I washed my hair I just had my hair shrunk up so much um, but now I feel like it's actually trying to grow trying to do a little something so that's one change another change that I've noticed a lot is that my hair is more dense each lock is more dense and less squishy so you know when you um, if you're a loose natural out there, when you install two strand twists, your hair is curly, so you can just like easily like press it down. It's squishy. Um, more to towards my roots. Um, so not my roots that are freshly retwisted or anything, but like a little further down, my hair is more dense. Like I can feel the trapped hair in there, and that it's starting to become matted. Oh, you guys, this one. This one is my really big lock right here is what I'm talking about it's more dense but then when you get down here which hasn't locked yet it's more squishy that's my curl it's more squishy but up here it is more dense and so that's one change that I've noticed um, especially in the back like this one right here is pretty much it's not it's probably not locked all the way yet but it's really made some progress less unraveling that's also a change um when you install locks um especially if you install well no i wouldn't say especially if you install them yourself because i think i did a really good job at installing my own locks but um two strand twists can easily unravel comb coils all that you're gonna deal with some unraveling and so I know within my first month I did deal with some unraveling but month by month two I still had a little bit of unraveling but it was different than my first month my first month within my lock journey in t like a, a whole twist would just unravel as opposed to my second month I had less unraveling and if I did have unraveling it was just the ends of my hair like it would just unravel up to here but here would be unbothered and so this time around for th my third month I think I've only had I don't know actually I've had unraveling but it would be like in the middle of my lock strangely like it would be like not this one this one hasn't moved but just for an, for an example like this would be fine this would be fine and then it'll be starting to unravel in the middle so I just started palm rolling if whenever I find those in my hair which I don't really 
well we'll get to regimented maintenance okay. so i still have curly ends which i'm not opposed to i i like it um just as long as they don't unravel or anything i think that's what makes my uh my locks unique um that i still have curly ends and i hope that that remains throughout my lock journey i really like it um i had a bit of heat damage before installing my locks and so um my little wavy baby right here um that's heat damage at the bottom but it hasn't really been unraveling like the top of my hair the top of it is still trying to lock so i think it makes my hair look unique though my hair still looks like two strand twists <laughs> it is slowly moving away from that formation but for the most part i just look like i have my hair twisted i think some people can tell i've I've heard more people say like, oh, your locks are pretty. Like I can tell that you're locking your hair, but still not that many people. I think that for the most part, it just looks like I'm wearing two strand twists. Um, but I will say that when I freshly retwist my hair, that is when I get the most compliments about my locks. Like people being like, oh, you're, you, you're locking your hair. Your locks are pretty. I like your hair. Oh, and not a fresh twist, a fresh retwist is when people can really tell because uh, you know a fresh retwist on locks is very unique and unique to locks so uh, people know that i'm not just rocking a two strand mini twist moving on to my hair regimen okay so i still am uh, only shampooing my hair i think i've used conditioner once but i wash my hair i'm still washing my hair with a stocking cap I still have not washed my hair without it. I'm a little afraid to have unraveling. Um, at this point, I don't think my hair would unravel, but I'm trying to just be as safe as I can um, about that. So I don't think that I'm going to lose the stocking cap until I'm six months into my life journey. Just to be using the same shampoo, the Carol Starter Black Vanilla Shampoo, sulfate free. I now use Lock Gel by Talia Washi. Hold on, let me get the let me get the uh, package. I am now using lock gel um, to retwist my hair, and this is it. It's a Talia Waji Lock It Up Rosemary and Nettle. It defines natural curls and holds locks, adds moisture and sheen. So this is what I use. I got it from a beauty supply store, and I watch a lot of lock videos and this product was really recommended and the reason why I decided to start using lock gel I was retwisting my hair with water and olive oil and it was beautiful moisturized whatever but I found that my retwist would only last about a good three or four days and then it would they would start unraveling at the root they just weren't holding the oil just was not holding in my hair and I was just like what's the point I don't want to over retwist my hair because I don't want thinning locks I don't want over manipulation nothing like that so I was just like I need to do something else because oil is not cutting it it's just not I retwisted my hair two weeks ago and you know it has been through rain the humidity of my shower me playing with it uh, I did a twist out on my locks all that and as you can see I need to wash my hair again because it's flaky so excuse that but as you can see there's still I still have a, like it still looks like a fresh retwist like my roots are intact they're not going anywhere like it's still very things that I'm definitely looking forward to I'm looking forward to my hair completely locking I'm looking forward to being able to wash my hair and not use a stocking cap and just being able to wet my whole hair and just wash it I'm looking forward to that I'm looking forward to more length so I can do more styles I'm really looking forward to this may sound really funny but I'm really just looking forward to being able to put my hair in a ponytail just to be able to throw it up you guys do not follow my blog please do heyqueen.com but on there I made an announcement that I am engaged so I am looking forward to within these next few months to um, actually seeking out a loctician, a local loctician, to see how they do their work and me trying out like wedding styles. I want to do that before I get married. So um, yeah, 
that is that's my two two to three month update sorry that it was a long video just a front So, um, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe and check out my blog, Hey Queen. Of